Okay, so if you want to have silver or gold in addition to regular color printing on your card, you have to create, those are separate print steps, and so you have to create a mask for that step. Um, the easiest way to keep track of these is to create in Inkscape a multi-page SVG. So to do that, we're gonna drag down a, a ruler and align it with the top of the existing page. Then we're gonna click on this icon that's the two little pages. We're gonna click on the ruler, use it to align. That's gonna create a box of random size. We'll then go up here and select ID card, which will make it the right size. We will then select the what we want to put on the card we have to copy everything every time unfortunately because we need the same data essentially but with just different parts left in or, or taken out and so for the color i want to have what is in green or teal I want to have be in silver so I'm going to remove what's in teal from the print so like I'm going to select that delete it that delete that delete that Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. I'm even going to delete these little sets of circles. If you hold shift, it'll let you select. I should. I selected something else though. Hang on. And you got to hit, you got it. So you can hit sometimes when you select it'll select the points so it looks like that you're not able to delete the the shape when it's selected like that you have to hit f1 to switch it back to the shape selector and then you can delete and then yeah so i got a couple more to remove I am also, I want to, so I've taken out the teal. I want to have these, this, the outlines of these letters, I want to be in silver as well. So I'm going to go to the stroke and I'm going to turn the stroke off for this print. And then for these, I want this outline shape to be whoops to be silver so I'm going to select that delete that select that delete that select that delete that and select that and delete that and so now this is the colors that I want to print and so I can click the little page tool and select, click on within a, a page and it will select that page. Up here for the name, I can name this one, for example, composite. And it will put a little page label here. I can select this one and call it color mask. And then I can repeat the process again. I click. It doesn't actually, it's not snapping to that ruler for reasons I don't know. But I create a box. I select ID card. I go back to my original composite. I switch back to the selection tool. Select everything. Control C. Click in there, control V. 
I placed this. There, there can be tiny little differences in where things are, but they should be pretty closely aligned the same. And I have essentially meta game. The, the space between the E and the outside of the card and the M and the outside of the card is the same as how that's aligned. And then they're aligned along the bottom of the card. So now I want this to be, I want for the outlines to be silver. So I will select these. I will select fill and turn off the fill. Whoops. Turn off the fill. And then I will select the stroke paint and turn it to black. It all needs to be black for whatever's going to be printed in silver. So I want all of this teal to be in black. Well, hang on. First, I'll do these. So for these, I want... just these outlines to be in. Actually, I'm doing this wrong. I need to, because I don't want to print in silver all of this, I do, because if it printed this entire G, it would print over, the color layer will be first. So it would print silver over that. So what I should do instead is I'll select this and I will leave these white outlines. And what those will do After I select the, the letter outlines and go to stroke and then change them to black, actually, are they filled? Oh, I've got, hang on. I had more selected than I wanted to have selected. I just want the, that outline selected. So now I've just selected the outlines. I drag that to black. And I can leave the white. I think I'm going to make these slashes. I'm going to leave these slashes as... I can either have them be silver or I can have them be teal. I think I'm going to have them be silver. And, that, and so I will go over here and remove the teal slashes from the color print. So now that will be in silver, that will be in silver. This, when this prints to PDF, whatever is in white will just blank out parts of the black. If it's not present in black on the page, then it doesn't show up. So what I want to do is remove everything except for, hang on, there's one little teal dot right there. Okay, there's now no teal left. So now I want to remove everything that's not teal from this one. So I'll click here, select that for example. Whoops, that was more than I wanted. I have to, again, sometimes I have to hit F1 to switch it back to the mode that I want. I'm just removing everything that's not teal. Oops. So now all that's left is that in teal. 
I will select it. I will go to fill and I will fill it with black. Whoops. Actually, I will hang on. So I will select all this stuff except for this shape and I will change its fill to black. Then I will select this shape and I will change its stroke to black. So this is now to, to show you what it will look like when it's when it goes to print. Imagine that this was that the page has a white background. So it will look the oh see I did not notice that these letters have a stroke on them which I do not want that outline to be in silver. So I will go up here to stroke, I will turn the stroke off, and now you just have the the outlines that are behind the letters is all that shows through. So this will be printed in silver. I can remove the whoops. I can remove that and now we one more time. Well actually before I do that I'll click on this and then I'll select that and I will name this the silver mask. Then I will click here, create a box, change that box to an ID card. Um, I will click on, because it's this is screwed up under document properties, you can select whether or not, well, let me try to do that again and see if I can. Let me see if I switch it to an ID card again, if it's going to go back to. OK, so if it, it needs to be rectangular or else it won't do it right. So I've got what I want in silver. And for this one, I want to do everything that's not in color or silver I want it to be have a gold background so I'm going to copy all of this I'm going to whoa I'm going to I still have this selected is why it pasted funny if it pastes and doesn't look right make sure that nothing is selected when you paste so I'm going to paste that in again I'm going to do the positioning manually one last time and now I'm going to go to fill and stroke. And actually, the thing is, is I have to see if I, well, actually, let me try this. If I do fill, no, that's going to fill in more than I want, I think. Let me try it. Maybe I'm okay. I can do fill and then I can go to stroke and set stroke to white. Oh, actually I need to set it. Yes, so I now have a white. The G is off, is not in line. Is the G out of line in all of these? The G is not in line. Crap. I've got to fix that. Pardon me while I repair each one of these individually because it's quicker than doing. So on this one, I would say I need to...
Sometimes you'll end up with elements inside another element's group. Like this E is part of a different group. Control Shift G will break the group. Or con yeah, Control Shift G should break the group apart. And that will let me. I believe that this whole thing needs to be scooched down just to where the G touches on the top of the on the bottom of the card and then the other letters need to be bumped up just a little bit to fix the alignment so this one the G looks like it's in a good place I'll select the AME and I will bump them up just a smidgen And honestly, I think that this one as well could be bumped down. If I look at the first one, the stroke of the M is on the edge of the card. So I need this stroke to also be on the edge of the card. And these are aligned right at the bottom of the card. And those are in line. Okay, so this is the final one. I select this. Select these. I move them up. And then... Take the whole thing and scoot it down just a tiny little bit. So now I have this. What I actually want, though, is I'm going to create the black mask that I want for the background. So for the fill, I'll fill it with black. And I'll hit the End key. And it should... go behind everything. I don't know why. Let me try to move that down. And then move that up. No, it's not working. Why is it not working? I'm going to delete. Oops. Maybe because it's missing. Let me try that one more time. Okay, I'm going to take a rectangle. I'm going to create a rectangle. The rectangular can be bigger than the size of the shape. See, this is because elements are in groups and that confuses it sometimes. So anyway, I finally got it to work by selecting the octopus and hitting page up. So now I'm gonna go back to the square tool. I'm gonna to select the square and I'm gonna make it so that everything is black that's not either color, silver, and then the, so this final one will be gold. I'll select the tool for page four. I will call it gold mask. So I now have my four, well, my three masks. And then the composite just shows what everything looks like together. And uh, yeah, that's how it's in order to do the, the different masks with different uh, the foil colors you need to do something like this um, and then finally you can just go to file and export and buy pages and it will spit out each it will spit out individual documents for each of your pages that makes it easy to quickly deal with them okay so if everything goes according to plan you will end up with a nice shiny you can see the silver and the gold both kind of just help it to pop and you'll end up with a card